Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Tuesday morning. It is now the 19th day of March 2024. This is the morning briefing coming to you from the Home Weather Office. And as I look out the window, it's another beautiful morning. We have clear skies. We have a light breeze. A little cool this morning, but it's going to be another nice afternoon with temperatures in the valley reaching the mid-70s. Later on today, it is also going to be the uh, the spring equinox. Yes, spring officially begins, astronomically speaking, um, later on today. I think it's around 8 o'clock Pacific time, a little after 8 o'clock. Uh, but of course, we kind of go more by meteorological spring, which is March 1st. Either way, the interesting thing about today is the way the satellite looks. So let's take a look at the morning satellite. And as you can see, you can basically draw a line straight down from pole to pole where the there's sunlight and darkness, and that's the cool thing about the equinox. Now, here's an interesting stat for you. Because the, the, we have the, uh, the, the line of uh, light and dark going straight up and down, what we're supposed to have is 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness, and that's why it's called the equinox, equal night, equal day, equal night. But that's not exactly true. It's actually off by a couple of minutes, and I get this question all the time. Um, we don't put the sunrise sunset times on the on on air um, as often as we used to, but uh, today I think it's off by uh, a, a few minutes. In other words, we don't have exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Instead, it's um, I think today we have like 12 hours and five minutes, something like that, in the Sacramento area. So why is it off? A lot of people used to ask that. So here's a reason why. When the sun comes up, the sunrise is defined as the, the moment that the first part of the sun crosses the horizon, not the middle point. If it was the middle point, then we would actually likely have 12 hours and 12 hours. But sunrise is defined as the when the leading edge crosses the horizon, and sunset is when the leading edge, I should say the trailing edge, uh, crosses the horizon. So the difference in the time it takes for the full disk to rise and the full disk to set makes a difference in, in the in, it's in not being exactly 12 hours. If they measured sunrise and sunset more as a point when the center of the sun crossed the uh, the disk of the sun, if you will, crossed the horizon, then we'd be closer to 12 and 12. But because of the differences in the way sunrise and sunset are measured by almanacs, that's why we don't get exactly 12 hours. The one thing that is true today is that the sunrise and the sunset are exactly west. So if you're at your house and you want to know exactly exactly where west is, go out tonight at sunset, which is around 7.15, 7.20, and look to see where on the horizon the sun sets. That is exactly due west. All right. Let's go back to the satellite. And so as you can see, yeah, just a, a beautiful day throughout uh, throughout the western states. Nice day, but we are expecting some rain eventually. So the rain timing has actually moved up a little bit. I'm going to go to the, the 12Z NAM. And uh, today, beautiful day, light gradients. But notice here this afternoon, we have more of an onshore gradient. So in other words, the, the lines of equal pressure. This is the 1018, 1016, so it means higher pressure here, lower pressure here. That means onshore flow. Delta breeze will start to impact areas like Solano County and Sacramento County as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. You can just ignore some of that, that green stuff that shows up here and there. The model just kind of has some noise in it every now and then, like this stuff like that stuff. That's just some noise. So now we're through the day on Wednesday. Now we're into the day on Thursday. Thursday afternoon, we're still in good shape. Now let's get into the day on Friday. This is Friday morning at 5 a.m. Let's go to 8 a.m. One more frame. And by then, this next line of rain is coming in. Now, my rule of thumb with these kind of patterns is usually a little slower is a little bit better, but the models are in pretty good agreement. I'll be getting some rain in here on Friday afternoon. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. Some rain in Lake County by then, according to the model. And then by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we have some rain. Snow is pretty far up the hill, up around 6,000 feet or higher. And then by 5 o'clock, we have rain everywhere uh, with minimal impact on the Sierra. And this would be some pretty good rain. There's actually some pretty good precipitable water with this as well. Um, so, yeah, 
We had been thinking maybe after sunset, but we might have to move up the timing a little bit. We may see rain up and down the valley as early as two or three in the afternoon. I'll show you the way the GFS is showing this. This is also the 12Z GFS. Well, let's see, we only have 31% of this model in at this point, but we'll see how far it goes. It'll get us through that Friday onset, but what I wanted to point out here is that the Timing looks the same. This is also five o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. We have rain everywhere, snow levels are very high. So yeah, both the NAM and the GFS are in agreement that we could see snow as early as, I should say rain as early as uh, mid-afternoon. It rains Friday night. This is around 11 o'clock at night. Colder air coming in, dropping the snow level. We'll likely get chain controls Friday night, Saturday morning. And then this is Saturday morning at eight o'clock and this is midday, and this is the afternoon. It looks as though we could have some maybe showers in the morning with the steadier rain in the afternoon. There's also gonna be some colder air. Wouldn't be surprised if we um, don't see some thunderstorms on Saturday afternoon, like this and this, which is five o'clock. There could be some thunderstorms embedded in that. And then that would continue into the day on Sunday, although it does look as though Sunday may be a more showery day with some colder air around. Still a lot of details that we don't know, you know, about the weekend. Um, I have a feeling one day might be better than the other, and right now it looks like Sunday may be the drier day than, than Saturday, but also consider that with this pattern change we have coming up, it's going to get quite a bit cooler. By Sunday, we could be seeing highs only in the low 60s, as opposed to the mid to upper 70s we're going to see today. Uh, so, Temperature's gonna get colder, and we're gonna see some rain, and we're gonna see some snow, and we'll likely have chain controls for a while as well. So we do have bigger changes ahead. The, the, the leading edge, we're starting to get that better idea of, and uh, so it does look as though we may see some rain as early as Friday afternoon, and especially into Friday night. We'll keep you posted on the timing of that, and more importantly, on the timing of the rain for the weekend and when it's gonna be dry. Um, and I do think we'll have more details on that probably by tomorrow and certainly by Thursday morning. So you can plan your weekend. You can plan around when it's going to rain. It's not going to rain all weekend. There will be some dry times. But that's everything I've got for you this morning. It being a Tuesday, there will be a Facebook chat tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, and otherwise, I'll be on TV at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. Enjoy the sunshine today. Go ahead and make it a great day, and I'll talk with you later.